Companies can adopt different approaches to innovation. Often this will depend on how much money, time and human resources they have available and what aligns with their business strategy. We can say that these approaches can be part of a continuous improvement strategy or more on an ad hoc basis. There are four different types of innovation to consider. This can be introduction of a new product or a change to an existing product. It could be process innovation that is new to an industry. There's also the opening of a new market or a new marketing method. Or it could be the development of new practices and behaviour within an organisation. The level you choose will dictate the simplicity or complexity of your journey. Let's discuss the main levels of innovation. Incremental innovation consists of small yet meaningful improvements in your products and services. These tend to be the new and improved innovations we are all bombarded with every day. New flavours, shifts to better or natural ingredients, packaging improvements, faster or slower functioning, just-in-time supply chain enhancements, bigger, smaller sizing, cost reductions, heavier, lighter weight. We see them every day and they help extend product service and business life cycles and improve profitability. They can be easily visualised and quickly communicated and give you something new with which to grab consumer attention in an increasingly noisy marketplace. A clear example is an espresso coffee business. While everyone else was building better and faster machines or better and bigger coffee packages, Nespresso reinvented the model. They created a high quality distinct brand along with an espresso club and a 40% profit margin. Breakthrough innovation, also known as radical innovation, involves creating a completely new process, service or product in response to an opportunity or a market need. This level of innovation tends to result from careful research and development into a specific issue or problem. This is a meaningful change in the way you do business and gives consumers something that's actually new and not just new and improved. In most cases, it makes use of new technology to solve a problem. A good example is Nike. The company developed services in response to today's fitness demands, all based around their shoes. The user can measure calories burned and record the distance and pace of a walk. Breakthrough innovation produces a substantial competitive edge for a while. Although the length of time anyone can maintain such an advantage is growing increasingly shorter. Transformational innovation is usually, but not always, the introduction of a technology that creates a new industry and transforms the way we live and work. This kind of innovation often eliminates existing industries or at minimum totally transforms them. For this reason, transformational innovation tend to be championed by those who aren't wedded to an existing infrastructure. Transformational innovation is exceedingly rare. Think about it. How many truly new to the world ideas happen in a year, in a lifetime? Not many. A good example of transformative innovation is iCloud. Amongst its many advantages, it enables work from home arrangements and helps employees respond more effectively while on the move. In some ways, transformational innovation is easier to pursue because the change required to achieve it usually doesn't rely on an existing entity that is committed to the old way of doing things. That's why we often find transformational innovation coming from startup companies. In summary, the three levels of innovation are incremental, providing modest improvements, breakthrough or radical, creating a completely new product or service, and transformational, creating a new industry and transforming the way we live.